The following presentation was recorded at the Buddhist Society of Victoria, Malvern East, Australia. Please visit our website at bsv.net.au. All of you are welcome today to listen to the Dhamma talk. So, uh, for starting this Dhamma talk, uh, I think it is good if you, if anyone can ask questions, so then I can answer in and give the Dhamma talk. Um, thank you, Mante. I just wondered if you would be able to comment on right awareness and right reflection. And, uh, I will answer in this way, because uh, awareness, this, uh, what we are aware, awareness, the, uh, I understand that word in uh, this way, to write mindfulness, come in the awareness. So aware means uh, the, uh, if we talk uh, in uh, the satipattana, that is uh, for references, so that is establishing mindfulness in uh, four ref on four references. But uh, uh, the mindfulness should have a certain level of qualities. So when we are uh, mindful or when we are aware of things, if we don't have the right understanding with our, within our mind, so we are uh, aware of things in a wrong, with wrong understanding. So that, that kind of uh, uh, awareness leads to uh, unwholesome thoughts, unwholesome, uh, un unwholesome mentality might arise depending on uh, the wrong awareness, wrong uh, understanding based awareness. So that is how I understand this Dhamma, because Lord Buddha talk about the Samma Ditti first, then Samma Sankapa arise because Samma Ditti, the right view. So right view is, uh, is the, uh, the, the deeper part of the uh, awareness, because if, if our awareness is not based on right view, Sometimes uh, it, 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 we can say it is wrong awareness. It is so uh, awareness is uh, the if we uh, talk about in terms of uh, um, uh, four references. This is kaya anupassana, vedana anupassana. This is uh, uh, when we focus to our body, our mind. When we focus our mind to our body, so we we see the body in such a way. So, uh, if we don't have uh, the proper quality of mind, uh, we naturally fall into the wrong, uh, come to a wrong understanding. That's why right view and right effort is important. Right, right effort comes from the right view and right uh, intention. So, uh, for, for establishing satipatthana, that means establishing the right mindfulness, uh, first we have to abandon the unwholesome states of mind. That means uh, greed, hatred, and delusion, we have to abandon. Otherwise, uh, right, the, we can't say it is right mindfulness. We are aware of our body uh, and our feelings, our mind, and the Dhamma, we are aware of it. But if we haven't abandoned these uh, unwholesome states of mind beforehand, so we, we get the wrong understanding by establishing mindfulness on these four references. So that's why the Samma Ditti, right? Uh, this... Uh, uh, right view is important. Right view is Lord Buddha always uh, emphasize this. The aware of this, uh, the nature of our body and mind means it is all these uh, forms, feelings, perceptions, and volitions come in our mind. 
is subject it is it is anicca this uh, impermanent and uh, non self nature of these forms feelings perceptions and volitions if we understand this reality if we if we have heard this reality and aware of this reality that is the base uh, the and if we and we should believe this is true this is the reality if you are believing in that way if we bear this knowledge in our mind so when we are interacting with objects that mind never fall into greed or hatred so that is the important thing that is that is the meaning of uh, samma ditti if we, if you are have the right view then you get the right intention or the right thought in your mind when you have this right thought you can practice right effort that is uh, abandoning unwholesome states and be with wholesome states because mind is a natural phenomena it it arises and pass away depending on causes and conditions that means see, uh, whatever object come to your mind uh, our mind naturally run under delusion and the 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 forms feelings perception perceptions arise when contact happens the feelings perceptions and volitions arise naturally but if we aware our mind normally run under delusion that is the way of mind works because forms the feelings forms feelings perceptions and volitions always based on causes and conditions these causes and conditions always based on delusion so if we aware of this fin- uh, na- the natural way of working it so we are not deluded naturally we can keep a distance to our forms feelings perceptions arise in our mind we don't take it as my understand understanding we take or be, uh, this these forms feelings perceptions volitions arise because causes and conditions not because it is it is my mind but mind arise depending on causes and conditions so then we 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 do not take the the, the ownership or this is i me myself we keep it alone so if it is useful we use it for the if it is useful for the for our present moment work we use it otherwise we can let it go let it disappear we don't give an importance to it we are not attached to it we can cut off and let go things because we if we deal with our consciousness in this way uh we can create wholesome we can we can allow to arise wholesome mental states just we can abandon all the unwholesome mental state if you are not uh if you haven't heard this kind of uh, teachings and uh, we take our mentality as mind my my mentality or oh, it is it is my feeling if we give uh, if we uh, take these things in with the ownership or we are claim that i feel this way this is i this is this is my feeling i know this um, i feel this uh, i perceive in this way that is my intention this is my intention i want to do this if we take in in this way so our mind naturally flows on that way based on delusion because all forms feelings perceptions and volitions arise based on delusion so that's why lord buddha say if there is no delusion we can just if any mind moment do not bear the delusion that means if you understand what is the reality of this mind we can cut off and let go and free our mind from all the, these forms feelings perceptions because lord buddha say basically all all forms feelings perceptions and volitions arise within ourselves is suffering because it based on delusion the the really you you are released from suffering means you totally cut off and let go all these things and free your mind and come to the total liberation of from your consciousness the first you cut off and let go your five sense consciousnesses and ultimately you cut off and let go your mind consciousness and f- totally free from feelings perceptions and volitions actually volitions you let go early ultimately you free from the the feelings and perceptions and free you free from your feelings and perceptions that means no consciousness there 
so so the meaning is that, that uh, if you have the right awareness naturally you are letting go and you free your consciousnesses and free from uh, all attachments so we have to train you that if you have this uh, attitude and we we focused our attention to four references that is the the body kaya anupasana and the feelings we are focused to the feelings and uh, uh, then you focus to the mind and then focus to the dhamma dhamma is the the way how these things work so how things arise and pass away then you start seeing so then that is also another kind of uh, feelings and perceptions so we all when we understand dhamma we let go everything so understand means you see how it works first of all you have to have this uh, right view right way of seeing things so uh, when you focus to these four references basically you let go things and free your senses so important things come to the uh, come to the understanding of uh, uh, reality that means the, the dhamma anupassana first of all you have to uh, uh, understand uh, the have the right attitude towards your body and let go your body free from your body then you start seeing the feelings in proper way otherwise you are naturally caught up by the the the, the bodily uh, forms feelings perceptions when you let go things the bodily things then you free from the body the body consciousness you you get free from the body consciousness then you see the mind the f- then you can f- uh, easily f- uh, focus to the uh, feelings of your mind so the the happiness and uh, the piti uh, sukha we can feeling the we can understand the piti and sukha the f- f- feelings of the the mind because these feelings actually come in the mind realm the 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 forms come in the body realm so but uh, when mind is contact with the body so always come the 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 forms feelings uh, the feelings perceptions related to body so that's why the first we have to let go the body and free from the body so that is the meaning of kaya anupassana when we do the kaya anupassana we see the the final the, when we are doing this kaya anupassana to the deeper stages we see the breath as the final uh, 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 action in our body so we we let go the the other all other at the beginning then then we see the breath as the final uh, uh, sankhara in our body because the sankhara means it, it uh, the this breath is run by uh, the underlying uh, sankhara means the volition it comes from the birth it runs the body so when we let go we see it as the suffering we, when we see it as uh, uh, arise because delusion and it creates suffering so we let let it be let it disappear it once you see it you you let it cease so then the ceasing happens when when the body power get diminish and uh, you are mostly focus to the mind you are let go your body and focus to the mind then you see the 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 when you when the body is disappearing the the piti sukha rise this piti sukha is a part of the the path it is it is essential part of the path it is a one one essential part of the, that is that is why lord buddha introduced it as bojjanga piti sukha is bojjanga this is a part of a path of uh, this is a uh, enlightenment factors lord buddha say because without arising piti and sukha samadhi never come because samadhi come from piti and sukha uh, so that's why uh, it is important to understand if we have the right awareness right right uh, 
attention to the, the these the, these four references naturally your mind start letting go your body and come to the 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 feelings then do you 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 clearly see the feelings and the way uh, how mind works with the feelings so you see again the sankar the the, the mind how try to hold on to these uh, the pleasant feelings and uh, the this bodily and mental feelings how to uh, hold on to these feelings so that is you see again as sankara this is uh, the craving arise in that you you know if you have this uh, uh, right uh, uh, right view because it is the first practice so because of the right view you see it as suffering and it it is the cause of suffering you let it go so then the mind sankara also calming down and then you start seeing the chitta the bright the mind so then you you are happy with that right bright mind you just go into the mind that is the, the samadhi uh, chitta pati sanvedi uh, vimochayang sit chittang samadhan chitta this is first you you the, the aware of the mind then the, the your mind go to the uniqueness that is my mind the absor- absorb to the 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 light yeah and uh, this yeah yeah absorb to the nimitta so first of all we 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 have to sub the the chitta the the chitta sankara have to be calm down first kaya sankara calm down then chitta sankara calm down and then go to the mind world so this is a this is the 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 purpose of four references of mindfulness so go to the jhanas when you attain jhanas this the, the samadhi then you can see how this five sense world disappear that is the five sense consciousness is disappear and once you come back from the five sense to the the this uh, the the five sense world go go to the mind mind realm and re, mind realm and come back to the to the five sense realm so then you see how it disappear and how come back then you clearly understand samudaya dhamma and vaya dhamma within yourself so this is then you you get the uh, right awareness of the dhamma anupassana fulfill in that way so anicca anupassi viharati viraga anupassi viharati nirodha anupassi viharati patini sagga anupassi viharati in this way so uh, i think that is the, what i can tell you so if you have any more questions ask when we meditate and um don't reach jhana but yeah. we see the body disappear yeah. and we can ev- we can see um uh we can see thoughts yeah and attitudes disappear too yeah but i guess finally we can't really see um the wheel uh So so what I'm saying a lot of us don't get to jhana correct but it, it, even um before one gets to jhana th- there are things that you can see clearly uh disappearing uh thoughts yeah um feelings yeah um and you you can disengage from those um thoughts and feelings or let them go uh but it's jhana that really gives you the full understanding yeah actually these thoughts they you are, i think you are referring the thoughts means the 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 thoughts come with the words this is another region that so actually this part we have to abandon when we are practicing uh, the samavayam this is right effort we have to subside the inner talk that means it, thoughts means the, the more the, that is called uh, vachi sankara the vachi sankara means the, the, the 
volition related to this uh, verbalization, the talking. So the most, most of the time we say thoughts means uh, thinking uh, based on words. But we have to we have to remove this part. This is this is karma chand. This is the part of this five sense world. So when we are come to uh, this uh, satipatthana beforehand, we have to remove. We have to let go all this inner talk. So then this is a thinking. The basically thinking you have to let go at that stage. Then you only see the the how this breath is going up and down, nothing else. And then start after when you focus to the breath for so, for long time, you see how the mind how relate to this breath the breathing process, and and the mind want to make body breathe. This 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 intention is no. There is no words, but you see, you start seeing it how it runs. That wanting business inside our system, it is not not come with the word. It is a different realm. That is the mind realm. So when we understand, we we see the suffering arise in that level. That is not the 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 the, the speaking level. that is a different different kind of understanding how this mind moves why this mind moves why this mind want to get these things yeah it has no verbal commentary no 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 yeah this is a re- different realm different li- level of understand different level of awareness it is not the awareness of this uh, the the talking mind it is a it is a different level of awareness then start seeing things then let 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 go things so then the calming down the mind mostly happen is you are you are when your mind become calm and focused to the breath you are naturally go attached to the light so you let go the breath breath naturally calming down because you are attached to the breath so that is the mind realm so if you develop the kaya anupassana into deeper stages the kaya anupassana is the you are seeing the how this um, volition drive this uh, the the breath and you let go it it is suffering so once you uh, just go to the light means you are you are go to the mind realm this is the the stage i think the most people if we, if some people don't see the 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 light because if we if people don't see the light sometimes it see it is boring but if you can maintain the happiness with the stillness the the, the focusing to the breath if you can maintain because you have to condition your mind to be happy with the breath then you when, then you can stay long time with the breath when you are staying with long time then you see how your mind works without thinking because thinking if thinking come back to the to to the uh, uh, watching breath it is then you you fall on to the previous step so you have to tra- you have to uh, condition your mind to be happy with the breath and enjoy the breath so then you start enjoying the breath in the meantime sometimes you you start seeing the light with the breath so then mind naturally go to the light so it is it is, it is how it uh, normally happen so uh, we start seeing the the intention is something little bit deep so that's a pasambhaya kai sankara that this kai sankara is not actually the breath we are calming down breath means letting go your intention to seeing the breath they 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 driving the breath so when calming down the breath the 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 this uh, the physical uh, brain start the, the 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 reducing its power then the mind power become more the, the powerful and mind go to that different different region so then the, we then focus to the light come in that way 
So that is the, uh, Ajahn Brahm always say the, that is the pivot point. That is the pivot point. That is, you are coming from one, one realm to the other realm. So then you feel the, 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 feel, the, the um, uh, rapture within yourself. So that is a di different realm. So uh, the Lord Buddha said these things are the, uh, the enlightenment factors. Bojang. So when you, uh, you have to, uh, you, the, when you come to that level, the, the, the rapture comes. If there is no rapture, means you are not still uh, come to the pivot point. So, but you have to, the, the, in, the, in the path of the training, you have to condition your mind. This is all these uh, forms, feelings, perceptions are suffering. You just let it go, let it release and letting go. So, the, the first, the, 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 this thinking mind, you let go. Because verbalization belongs to this five sense world. The words, all these words belongs to the five sense world. You just let it, be, let it go, be kinds of tangential. You take it as suffering. That's why, because always our mind attached to things because we value things. Cutting off value happen we, when we think these things are the impermanent and this is suffering. There is no I, me, myself existing here because our consciousness always uh, value things based on conditioning. When the conditioning change, valuing system also change. Once we value something, later we don't value it. We value something else. So, if we understand this nature of our consciousness, we, uh, we more, uh, we, we have the understanding this valuation system is not a fixed thing. So, we do not, we, 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 we should not, uh, 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 we, sh we, we should not actually believe this valuing system. Believing valuing system, then we are caught up by the value system. So we, we can cut off the value of this, this valuing system, this perception. Valuing system means a perception. We can cut off the perception and let go. Once we cut off the perception, and not only the perception, even the feeling. Feeling arises depending on causes and conditions, because how we were conditioned is the, is the cause. So. These, these things are always changing depending on experiences, new experiences, and new understandings, new teaching, new learnings. Change these things. So that's why we can cut off and let go, because there is no real value in these perceptions and feelings. And the volitions, volitions come behind these things. That means it, that is a byproduct. So they all come together. We, have, we can cut off and let go these things. We can keep a distance to these things. So then we, we get the ability to cut off and let go and release from these things because we are taking all these things as suffering according to Dhamma. We, we, when we understand this is non-self nature of these things, the, the non-personality nature of these things, we can cut off and let go and release our mind from uh, grasping on these things. We can, without grasping, we can cut off and let go. That is, that is uh, the, if we have this understanding, when we are mindful in, of our mind world, how this mentality arises and pass away. So we can cut off and let go. We don't value any of these uh, forms, feelings, perceptions and volitions. And that is how our mind gets released from first from the five sense world. This Kama Chanda Vyapada, this is the, 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 the five hindrances, is a part of the five sense world. So, five hindrances is come because the delusion and greed and hatred. Because the delusion, greed and hatred arise. So, Kama Chanda Vyapada. And the other three, the the Tinamid, the Uddacha Kukucha Vichikicha, the Sloth and Toffer and uh, remorse and uh, restlessness and doubt. These things come because delusion. Delusion come to you because wrong view. Wrong view. If you practice the right view, th then you can subside the delusion. Then when you practice this uh, subsiding delusion, 
with that this right view is when you are practicing right view you can practice the right uh, effort just let go thing let go all unwholesome states by aware of this uh, uh, reality that is the right view so you you free free from the five five hindrances then you can practice the right uh, mindfulness in that way so then then when you are practicing right mindfulness you j- still you are letting go because when you are mindful about your body you are letting go your body because you know this is suffering all these forms feelings perceptions volitions are suffering you just let go let it free that is how we come to liberation because lord buddha taught us to uh, the, the basic teaching is all free from all suffering means uh you have to attain the nirodha 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 is non arising state so we are gradually let go state by state first we are letting go the five senses five sense world so we are getting nirodha to five senses get, getting uh, def- totally extinguish five senses and we start experiencing it because we use the right view and then right intention and we let go and free our uh, five sense world then we go to the mind world we are we staying with mind world and come back to the five sense world lord buddha say if when you uh, come to this level then you can clearly understand the reality of body reality of consciousnesses how these consciousnesses arise and how these things totally extinguish so then you you see the reality of this consciousnesses then you know how to let go the mind consciousness uh, the, at that stage that means the jhana stage you are uh, your mind is attached to the fine material world that is the light is the fine material light you are attached to it you are bound to it so you know this one also arise depending on causes and conditions then you get the effort to let go it and release from it so then you go to the total cessation so that is how lord buddha told us this path thank you bante um pante if one practices in this life but doesn't reach the state of sotapanna if one then is fortunate enough in the next life to be born into the human realm does one necessarily find the buddhist path or not because it's very scary to think that one wouldn't find it again <laughs> yeah th- that is true the, the sotapanna means actually uh if you uh listen to this kind of dhamma and if you uh start developing the faith okay this is true this is right there is no self here this is a natural process so uh, we can let go things if you have developed the faith towards this dhamma then you naturally your mind start using it when you especially when you fall into a suffering state of mind that means you have unhappiness you naturally start watching of this if you aware of this dhamma then you see where i i am holding on where for which thing i am craving so the because we crave to any object all these objects are uh, impermanent things and the our mind the craving mind also are impermanent thing because these feelings perceptions arise in our mind also for impermanent if we have this understanding that means you are you are uh you have some kind of understanding of the dhamma and you believe it and you are you are you are taking to practice it lord buddha say if a person in suttas very clear these things uh if a person practice anicca dukkha anatta as a reality and he use it in in, in his day to day life with the right right understanding definitely he attain sota sota panna uh, the magapala before he passed away lord buddha clearly say these things if a person understand what is anicca dukkha anatta and he use this knowledge in his day to day life definitely he attain sotapatti before before he pass away 
that is how lord buddha say so it is, it is the, so according the, the uh, for answering your question if a person do not haven't heard this dhamma and uh, he has no much understanding about this uh, anicca dukkha anatta anatta necha specially anatta is the important thing to understand because most people anicca understand but anatta don't understand so if a person don't understand anatta that means he, he, there is very little chance there is no chance to to fall into the path that is sota patte sota panna mag there is no chance to come to the path but if he understand anicca and he he practice this is suffering and we we can let go these things and uh, go to a uh, better mental states not attaching to the five sense world this kind of people go to the brahma realm or the 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 deva realm because they are not attached to the five sense pleasures because they see the anicca nature and they see they see suffering that's why we, when lord buddha was arising in india the some people believe these things and they practice to deeper stages even after lord buddha also some, most people practices in this way this they they clearly understand anicca nature and they 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 don't value this five sense pleasures they they see the suffering nature arise because anicca but they don't see the non self nature so they lay abandon these five senses and they go to the the, the mind room mind room is the the brahma room they don't uh, uh, they enjoying the five senses that's why they go to the brahma rooms but they they believe the atta the the there is uh, the self is uh, enjoying these things so after staying long period there they again come back to this five sense room that is the that is the, that is how lord buddha explained in brahma jala sutta lord buddha clearly say these things not only brahma jala moola pariyaya sutta brahma jala sutra these these many suttas lord buddha explained this nature of mind when they see the impermanent nature and when they practice only the impermanent nature and suffering so they they can release from their five sense world and go to go to the brahma brahma world but brahma world also impermanent maha brahma lived eons and eons and eons he know how the, the this this world destroy and create again destroy and create again many 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 times they he experience he see these things so that uh, later he believe that the, he he can create this world and he can destroy this world like that in when you see read this brahma jala sutta lord buddha clearly explain how it happens so because the reason they don't understand anatta there is no this is this 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 uh, body and mind is a part of the nature it is a it is a na- natural phenomena it just arise and pass away in that way so once you aware of that nature then you start seeing it then you can let go to ultimate states the not non arising these feelings and perceptions also you can totally release from feelings and perceptions then no consciousness anymore there consciousness actually defined by the feelings and perceptions in, in the basic way or otherwise the volitions bante i have a question about the two uh, separate thoughts of magga and phala chitta yeah. uh, does one attain phala chitta just immediately after the magga chitta or is there a time gap uh, between the two because i have read in some suttas where the, it was uh, it's noted that you can't even give a dana uh, to any so on magga person because the palachitta but because he attains the palachitta just after but in some um, uh, books i have read that uh, one who is in the so on mag- magga uh, one who has attained the so on magga um, will um, attain the palachitta just uh, before the death and also that even the world will not destroy until the person attains the palachitta yeah. can you please explain bante thank you yeah actually yeah, this this question is a important the, the very interesting question actually because uh, this the one mind moment explanation come from the abhidhamma so you know this only uh, this uh, magga 
has only one mind moment then you get the pala so uh, these, these things actually uh, in later periods of the buddhism that means he, when the buddhism is coming from 2500 years later periods most of the dhamma described through abhidhamma so that's why later monks describe this the the magga is only one mind moment but lord buddha don't speak in that way <laughs> lord buddha say in many suttas we can find out lord buddha say you the, the, once you attain magga even the, the arahant magga person at the death moment he can attain arahant pala that means uhacha parinibbai lord buddha say he is in on the mug can you just translate it into english so because some of us do not understand the english term of that maga maga is the path maga is the path once a person come to the path he uh, he has to practice on the path to get the fruits the understanding path means you understand the defilements the 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 what are the defilements and how to let go how to practice it to the to to let go all these uh, defilements so that is important thing. so the person who are, who is attaining jhanas can understand this is the how this five sense world arise and pass away so that such a pers- person clearly see this kama chand vyapad this uh, or the kama rag patiga as a defilement that's why they they can let go and attain anagami but still they are they are attached to the forms and the, the feelings and perceptions so once they clearly understand oh these forms and feelings we can let go and we we have to try it to do it then he clearly observe how it arise and pass away and he let go the things so then he he uh, he get to put the effort to do it then he can attain the total extinction it is not one moment like now the people who know practicing meditation it is not easy to attain jhanas how to the, the, that's the first basically letting go five senses well is not easy so so he has to practice again and again with the right uh, understanding right view after practicing long time he achieve let go the five senses well so once they uh, letting go five senses well that means attaining jhanas then he, they can subside the 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 kamaraga patika that means the, the the attachment to the five senses well and uh, the hatred rega- related to the five senses well can can let go because then he clearly understand this five senses body is not i me myself it is a it arise depending on causes and conditions and it disappear depending on causes and conditions once he attain jhana no no five senses were there so once he come back he clearly understand how it come back Samu, that is called samude dhamma anupasiva vihriti how this arise again this five senses consciousnesses how arise because the the reflection the so adverting the five senses take these five senses as i me myself then these five senses start working again because this body takes as i me myself otherwise the person who attain jhanas can go and just let go of the body that is what happened in nirodha samapatti the most monks lived in lord buddha's time when they start attaining the the nirodha the they they get permission from lord buddha because lord buddha invite all the monks who attain nirodha to live in this world and uh, live among the humans because then they they can learn a lot from such a monk they, that is he is arahant arahant but some monks come to after some time they come to lord buddha and get permission to to go so they once they attain the, the, the nirodha samapatti they don't come back again that's it finish then this body perish and finish it he don't if he want to come back can because it is a pre predetermination before attaining nirodha samapatti predetermine he determined that is called aditthana vutta avajjana samapajjana aditthana vutta na pachavikana there are five masteries 
so the meaning of that five masters is that so uh, they can determine before attaining jhanas and be, be, before attaining nirodha determine to come back then the after some time mind advert the five senses and come back to the five senses so the important thing to understand this uh, 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 if a person attain jhanas they can just abandon the body and go to the jhana room and live in the jhana room so then the, this this body perish and uh, decay and perish they don't come back so so uh, uh, for lord buddha's uh, teachings clearly say the in uh, the, the anagamis have uh, seven different uh, ways of becoming anagamis some becoming anagamis at the death moment and uh, i can't remember the those all seven different ways and uh, uh, arahants have two two ways one become arahant by attaining uh, uh, nirodha samapatti in this life some people at the death moment can attain arahant pala this is uhacha parinibbai never come back then finish at that stage anagamis go to the 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 uh, brahma world seven brahma world five five brahma worlds and uh, stay there and attain the arahant pala at that stage so there is a magga and pala has a the, the, the gap the you have to practice in magga that is the meaning of magga lord buddha say in many suttas the people can give dana to to the people um, who in uh, the atta purusha puggala this uh, the eight 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 people means so on magga person and so on pala person uh, sakadagami magga person and sakadagami pala person and uh, uh uh anagami magga person and ana- anagami pala person and arihat magga person and arihat pala person there are eight person so atta purusha puggala when we are chanting this uh, the um, uh, qualities of sangha we 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 chant this if it is a one moment thing they, why why lord buddha uh, chanting these things telling us this is the this this uh, qualities of sangha is come in everywhere in tripitaka that is how lord buddha introduced to people the the qualities of, these are not actually words uh, they drafted later these are all direct lord buddha's teachings atta purusha puggala esa bhagavato savaka sangha so the, these because these uh, the abhidhammic explanations later come so they ex- explain as a one moment thing for all all magga are just just mind moment that is wrong <laughs> that is my understanding <laughs> it is contradicting lord buddha's teachings dear bante okay. can you uh, explain uh, sati sampajanya and satra satipatthana uh, what is those and uh, what's the relationship yeah actually this um, lord buddha teach in uh, when lord buddha if, if you read the ganaka moggalana sutta like sutta mini sutta similar suttas you can get in in tipitaka this sati sampajanya actually come at the beginning of the practice you know once you uh, aware of this dhamma that means once you listen to the sangha or the dhamma the lord buddha's students or lord buddha's dhamma you uh, you get an introduction or the um, some kind of a, uh, understanding about your body and mind how this thing work so that's what uh, the the mainly anichadu kanat introduction come so if you bearing in this mind in then you are working in your day to day life if you have this understanding in your mind then you deal with your mind or the the objects come to your mind in a different way that is called sati sampajanya you have the sati with sampajanya with the knowledge the sati with the knowledge of uh, the that the understanding but sati patana is is uh, something come uh, after samma vayama sati patana comes sati patana is uh, the gateway to jhanas once you establish mindfulness is on these four references 
then you can develop to the jhana stages. But sati sampajana is a basic thing. Just you have to use in your day-to-day -day life. You have to practice your mind to use it in your day-to-day -day life. That is the purpose of uh, uh, samaditti. When you develop samaditti, you naturally come to this sati sampajana. Then the samma sankap arise because this sati sampajana. So that is the there is a big difference because the when you do satipatthana it leads to the the uh, samma samadhi satipatthana comes un, under samma sati samma sati after samma sati samma samadhi comes because sometimes people mix up these two they try to do satipatthana when you are walking and walking it is okay walking meditation it is okay but in your day to day life you you say oh it is difficult to do it that is foolishness you know satipatthana should not do there but sati sampajana you can do <laughs> you can practice sati sampajana from morning to evening that is really useful when you are practicing sati sampajana you get the urge to practice satipatthana because you know all this suffering so you if you want to be happy you have to reserve a time to practice uh, the samma vayama samma sati you have to you have to reserve because you 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 don't try to get happiness through five senses well. because samaditi we are using when you are using samaditi you naturally fall into the path Bant, Bante, um, recently a long-time family member died. Yeah. Um, she, as long as I've known her, she's been a Buddhist. Her husband's been a Buddhist. I'm just trying to get a Buddhist perspective on this. Um, <clears throat> before she died, and uh, my mother and I are still trying to figure out how this happened. Before she died, she told her husband that she saw Jesus. And Jesus told her the day she was going to die. Mm. And that's ex she died exactly on that same day. Mm. How, as a Buddha, from a Buddhist perspective, mm. who has grown up as a Buddhist, mm. how does one see Jesus mm. at the point of death? Yeah. She has no connection to the, the, the Christian faith. As far as I know, she went to the temple. Um, it, this was in New Zealand, in Auckland. Um, <clears throat> and her husband went to the temple. They have, um, they have they're long-term members of, of, of the Buddhist society as well. And um, so I, I don't know. I, I, my mother and I, who are, well, we, to put a label, we're practicing Buddhists. Yeah. Um, we found it... I found it quite hard to understand or even to... Ex because my mother was quite confused yeah. and, I, and I didn't know how to explain to her and I'd, because I, I wasn't sure yeah. how a, a practicing Buddhist at the point of near death sees, no. Je sees Jesus and Jesus tells yeah. her yeah. that the day she's going to die and that's yeah. the day she actually died. Is he born as a Buddhist or born as a Christian? As far as I know, she was born as a Buddhist. As far as I know. Yeah. These things can happen because sometimes the people have uh, their, their previous life experiences. You know, the Lord Buddha say, sometimes people, when they go to the death moment, they can remember their past life. Because sometimes she uh, become a, uh, born in human realm because uh, she uh, had previous experiences. He, she lived in past life as a Christian. I don't know. They, they, we have to, you have to verify whether her mother or father a Christian. Maybe there is a connection. We, we, have, to, we have to verify. Some, most of the time, the, this, uh, the death moment uh, mind is sometimes not mind in your body. It is released from your body. But it can drive your body. So they, now there are many, you can find out these kind of things. The scientists also do research because some people have dementia. 
at the dead moment they start speaking it's normal some people undergo the coma at the dead moment they still speak D- doctor say ha- cannot happen because the brain has gone already so how this guy is speaking <laughs> so because mind go to a different realm and in a in a different level it it, it is something different because that level he can experience the past life things and future things so what is he is experiencing he is explaining maybe the, he because he had uh, the, that she had previous life this christian faith and uh, when her mind released from this body go to this kind of uh, mentality so she explain her ex- uh, the experiences according to her past life faith that's it so these things we, you can see if you read uh, the indi stories when people uh, experiencing this uh, uh, clinical death stage so they explain uh, their experiences depending on their faith so they say i i met jesus indians say i met the brahma <laughs> so that depends on their faith so it is okay it is, it is, maybe she she probably she she will have a good uh, rebirth or good uh, mental state because she is seeing something good some happy states of mind not in the, in the same way some people see the very awful states of mind when they are experiencing nds so it, it is pretty clear the, the, it is well fit to the dhamma how lord buddha teach dhamma because lord buddha also say some people when go to they they they, they see the bad uh, destinations so bad rebo- the 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 bad state of uh, existences in future so that is that means he, he uh, his he ho his ho her mind fall into the bad recollections that means the unwholesome mental states it is possible sorry bhante um can you just explain the um atta purisa pugala you uh, spoke about earlier the difference between marga and pala marga you said was path and yeah. what is pala pala is the fruit like like you are you are uh, the um, a person go to the university get a degree okay we say ba degree first you have to study you are on the path because you are you are in, enter to the university and you are you are studying the subject okay when you when you uh, fulfill all the, fulfill your knowledge up to the degree level then you go to the exam and sit to the exam and get the degree you pass you answer the question papers and pass so i am not the, com- the fully compare this one yeah. this is just for example but actually the when you practicing the path you are uh, cultivating letting go to deeper stages so you let go the the first uh, the for attaining jhanas you you have to let go the five senses so you are train your mind to let go things so if if someone is so on marga and so on pala what yeah. uh, how how do you define like how is what's the difference what's the difference means the first you uh, get the belief from the listening to the dhamma from the, then you get the confidence to use it then you start using it if you can attain jhana or it is, sometimes people say it is upachara level also enough for so understanding this uh, 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 soan pala that is come to the soan pala because you have to clearly see within yourself this uh, consciousness is not i me myself it it arises depending on causes and conditions this mind is not i me myself mind runs because causes and conditions so this uh, personality view has to be destroyed don't then never again arise the fetters based on personality views and then you see how this uh, suffering arise 
you don't go behind uh, the other faiths or the the beliefs or doing things for subside suffering you see this i me myself create suffering this fetter is the the root cause so the you know the karmic nature of your mind it is not yours it run under causes and conditions so then you know you have to let go this uh, attachment to the five senses then you letting go then you go to the anagami stages and to anagami stages you you let go the five senses well and you have to attain jhanas clearly for attaining the these anagami stages because you should get fully released from the five senses world then you see how the, the reality of the five senses that is anagami level sakudagami level is in in between these two did they clearly see the 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 suffering nature of five senses world and how to let go suffering the five senses world so he has a some level of a practice in the sakadagami level so, so what is the bar that you have to reach to come to soan phala so the bar is uh, the you 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 have uh, you are totally letting go the sakkayaditti and vichikicha silabata paramasa vichikicha is you have no doubt anymore regarding these things so and uh, the uh, you don't have sakkayaditti sakkayaditti means the, this uh, personality view i me myself is doing these things you clearly clearly understand that this this uh, all this mentality arise depending on causes and conditions all this body arise the, the body means the all uh, the consciousness the, the depend on the body the, because i e no stung body is uh, the conscious creating parts all these things arise, arise depending on causes and conditions there is not i me myself this is not my thing all things things this body based on karma all the past experience it is auto programming system it is a natural phenomena see i e no stung body is a natural phenomena it is it is auto programming system if you understand in this way so you you you, uh, you know suffering arise through this body is totally depending on craving craving arise because we take it as i me myself otherwise you you don't crave to things because you you think you are enjoying things not you this conditioning create feelings and feelings we, we value these things and we try to hold on to these things because we are value because why we value we take we, i am i am enjoying things you have to understand this dhamma in this way then you you cut off the value and let go things and you free your mind from these attachments so once you clearly understand this body the, 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 your mind should come to that stage that ex- clearly you should experience within yourself this mind is not under my control it run under causes and conditions so when you come to that clear understanding your mind never try again to uh, uh to the uh, will and do things the willing is you 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 clearly see willing come from delusion will is not the thing but you have to you you had you have to let go things and free your mind from attachments so then your mind naturally become free from suffering not by the doing things not by willing things so because willing come from i me myself this is root uh, the delusion so the that's why the, it is important to understand this uh, how where from where this suffering come from that's why the uh, when the sakayaditti disappear the silabada paramasa and the vichikicha disappear all three come together the root cause is sakayaditti that is the wrong view so you have to practice the right view then you you can release your mind and you, then you can see because this speaking mind thinking mind when you have this mind you can't see the nature of mind how mind runs under craving once you see it you see you don't have a control on it it is a part of the nature thank you bante